Welcome back, everybody. We are going to hop into our first adventure of the evening, which I have uh, entitled The Meeting Place. Uh, but before we do that, we are going to take a moment and, as always, introduce our heroes tonight. Uh, so without further ado, our first adventurer, we have returning once more. Uh, I believe you are the first uh, the first rabbit folk uh, here within, uh, the first bunny folk here within D&D time. I messed up our proprietary race name. Uh, we have Lil Booper coming back. Hey, Pete. Um, so, Lil Booper, how are you? Tell me, what's, what's new in your life? Well, I've been spending last week at the Academy of Light with Chad, 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 and Chad, and Chad. Oh, yes, the Chads, of course. Yeah, and um, if they're actually pretty decent people, as long as, you know, one of their friends is in a pompous meanie But I mean, in particularly, I think uh, Chad, uh, C H A D T is is a is a pretty high quality Chad. I know that you two were were fairly close. Yeah, he taught me some stuff, and I tried to teach them some stuff. They're really bad at the triangle. At the triangle? Oh yes. <laughs> it's a lot um, higher than you think. And uh, well, now they're a lot nicer, but the name Alpha 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 was still tainted. So we went to the dean, and we got it changed. Now, I mean, it's Beta Omicron Omicron Pi. Of the four letters, this is unheard of. This is, um, this is a, a revolution, really. It sounds like. Um, yeah, I'm going to be attending the Academy of Light myself. I'm going to college. <laughs> um, well, maybe someday we'll see a uh, maybe. Someday, although unlikely in the land of D time, D and D time, we will see that uh, subclass cleric appear on your uh, appear on your name. Don't worry, you have a bardic side. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> um, in that case, little Hooper, welcome back. It is uh, it is good to have you once. Wait, more. wait, before you move on, you know you know what needs to happen. Oh yes, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for the boop. <laughs> boop. <laughs> um. The small rabbit has booped me directly on the nose, or booped the snoot, as some people would like to say. Snoot um, boop. Very good. Um, welcome back, little booper. Um, so moving on, next we have um, another a first time uh, hero here in the land of D&D time. We have Elena Darkcloud. Elena, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, so Elena, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um... Well, uh, I'm a priestess, and okay. I've spent most of my childhood in a temple, and so I finally gotten permission to leave the temple and to explore the world. Well, that's excellent. So, um, as a priestess, what um, deity is it that you worship? Is it a specific deity, or...? Um, that is something that I would like to keep personal. I apologize if uh, I apologize if the question was too much. Very well. Um, in that case, Elena, um, what kind of um, what kind of skill sets do you bring to the table? You mentioned that you are a uh, you mentioned that you are a priestess. Um, what kind of what made you want to kind of join the group of Bartholomew's adventurers and kind of go out and explore? Is it just the the freedom that you now have? Uh, yes. Um, I liked the idea of exploring the world with a group of other people and I wanted to um, help to yeah. um, you wanted to um I mean, I think you put it up, you wanted to help. Do you wish to, like, you know, see people bettered, kind of, like, do you want to be a positive influence on the world, or? Yeah, I would like to try and um, positively influence the world and hopefully allow other people to join my faith. Well, excellent, Elena. And I hope someday I can learn what that faith may be. Um, but for now, it is good to have you, and welcome to the land of D&D time. Thank you. Um, coming up next, we have uh, another returning hero uh, and one of our most veteran players here. We have uh, uh, playing Joy Slaughter Murder. Welcome, Joy. Hi. 
Um, Joy, how are you today? I'm awesome. We had an amazing party for my birthday. It was your birthday recently? Yeah, it's the 4th of July. Um, now, how old are you now, Joy? Well, um, uh, I was adopted, so I'm not a thousand percent sure, but we're going with, we're going with 19. <laughs> okay, well, well, that's great. And um, the 4th of July, or uh, I believe it's called Liberation Day here in the, the land of D&D &D time. Um, no, how no, did you the celebrate? 4th of July. Lie. Oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. This is a completely different holiday. This is an unrelated holiday. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Um... Wait, yep. so the holiday is just your birthday? Well, yeah, but we... Oh, we fair enough. It's a, it's a pun, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Clint made me a big cake that was, you know, kind of alive, but it exploded in marvelous fashion. Uh, we got a complaint from the neighbors all the way outside of the Baradak Swamp. It was a big I mean... explosion. I mean, that's got to be a pretty big explosion to bother neighbors even that far. Uh, even that far as the Baradak Swamp is a pretty vast place. Yeah, um, I didn't know we had neighbors that far. <laughs> uh, and also, Joy, uh, remind us a little bit about what kind of, what do you believe? What, what drives you forward in life on the day-to-day? -day? Well, I'm here to spread joy and cheer throughout the whole land of D&D &D time, and I'll beat people... Beat it into people if I have to, but yeah. Which often seems like it is the case that you do have to do. Um, but you know, sometimes back, you gotta idea. break a few bone to make a smile. <laughs> That's exactly how I remembered that expression as well. Uh, welcome back, Joy. Um, and then, last but not least, we have returning uh, Paradigm. Or not returning, I'm sorry, this is another first-time character. I'm all com discombobulated tonight, it would seem. Uh, Paradigm, welcome. Um, hello. Uh, Paradigm, would you care to tell us a bit about yourself? Well, um, I was a sailor along the Crimson Coast with my family for most of my life, and I was actually expecting to get my, my father's ship from him when the old crew passed away, but then he didn't give it to me, so now I'm trying to just find any way to make money and buy my own ship maybe so I can sail along the Crimson Coasts again. Um, he didn't give you the ship that seems like it should have been your inheritance. Uh, whom did he give it to? Um, he actually gave it to my brother who hasn't used it. It's just kind of sitting in the docks. That is uh, quite a shame, especially for someone like you who seems to really relish the sea. Uh, so much so that that's kind of your whole driving goal, it would seem here. Um, yeah, that really is my entire motivation. I honestly would probably just steal the boat off of him if he wasn't sleeping in it all the time. <laughs> oh, he's kind of turned it, converted it into a house and just leaving it at the dock? Yeah, effectively. What a shame. What a shame. Um, well, Paradigm, what kind of, a, what skills do you bring to the table as an adventurer? Um, I'm quite convincing with my words, and if I'm not very convincing with them, I'll just use my, my two swords instead, um, tend to be very, they tend to speak for themselves if I can't speak for myself. Um, I mean, that certainly makes sense. Would you say that you prefer to speak first or would you say that uh, you would, do you tend to lean on the swords more or uh, your words more, would you say? Um, I would prefer to use my words more, but I usually end up using the swords. Um, well, Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're able to get out of it with only speech tonight. Uh, but I suppose that we will have to see as we now dive into our adventure proper. As I um, welcome tonight, uh, Paradigm. Oh, thank you. Um, so as we move into our first adventure, uh, as I mentioned, I entitled the uh, the meeting place. Um, Bartholomew. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Bartholomew is our resident quest giver here in D and D time, uh, and he sort of met with all of you, introduced you to his adventuring guild, and has sent all of you, uh, usually very quickly through teleportation, to East Town. Uh, it is a town located east of Central City, and it is known for just sort of how wild and chaotic the scene is there. Um, when you walk into East Town normally, for any of you who may have been there before, um, you'll find 
um, you'll find you know various musicians out playing in the streets where people dance and and party there's always um in the distance you can see the explosions of various kind of like scientists working in, in their different kind of like you know houses uh, you know rock gnomes kind of moving about uh chaotically uh building different things you have um it's just a very wild scene. It always seems like there's something new happening in East Town. Um, and today is a bit of a, it's not an exception to the norm, but it is a little bit of a dangerous circumstance. Bartholomew has informed you that a local farmer in East Town, um, his farm animals, uh, the names, the farmer's name was Farmer Fran, uh, and his farm animals have started acting pretty strangely. Um, they have, in a lot of ways, uh, taken up arms, really they've taken up hooves and teeth and claws, and have gained a bit of a taste for meat themselves. Um, they haven't been eating each other, but have been favoring to prey upon the citizens of East Town. Um, as you arrive onto the scene, it is even more chaotic than the scene is in East Town normally. Um, Bartholomew has told you that what you need to do is get to the source of whatever is causing these animals to act in this strange way and kind of put a stop to it. Um, but as you're kind of arriving now, you see looking around um, various citizens just kind of like running around panicked. Um, you watch as like a cow just runs across the street chasing, uh, chasing another just kind of human who's kind of like screaming in panic. Um, you can see like chickens flying and almost like flocks and packs like pecking at and attacking just kind of like random uh random passerbys uh and like i said that is kind of the uh that is kind of the scene as you arrive uh in east town uh how do all of you approach as you're kind of seeing this you're going to kind of like move cautiously and try and like skirt around the outskirts outskirts you're just going to like kind of barge in and and bravely just start trying to like help people and get right to the root of things Let's go! I'm Your channeling my boldly. I'm channeling my brother and leaving us a nice trail back. Uh, so, so wait, it sounds like Joy. It sounds like you of all people are definitely going right in. A uh, little booper, you're kind of hanging uh, behind Joy a bit. Yeah, I don't know why Bartholomew is always sending me to places so things to eat me. Um. Yeah, and nothing's quite paying attention to you yet. Um, but definitely, you can t you can see like the bloodlust. You see a few people. It's it's a little bit grisly in some places. Um, you can see like bodies that are just kind of left around the streets uh, here and there of people that have been attacked by these farm animals. Um, what about you, uh, Paradigm and Elena? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, charge in with Joy. Yeah. Okay, you're you're right alongside Joy as the two of you just kind of like move into the uh, into the center of the street. Um, and, uh, Elena, are you hanging back, or are you kind of, like, ducking right into the fray? Um, I'm gonna hang back a bit, but I'm gonna, like, follow them at a sedate pace. Oh, oh right. need me, right, Elena? Oh, right. Let's do this thing! And Joy's gonna dig in her pack and grab her... the seasoning she brought and dump <laughs> it on herself. Okay, come and get me! Um, as you, uh, go ahead and make me... If you have proficiency with cooking tools, I you do. can. Okay, you can make a cooking check on yourself to try and make yourself appetizing. Um, I mean, you do so. You kind of pour seasonings. You have to. You like sneeze a little bit as like some of like the turmeric and pepper gets in your nose. Um, the animals don't seem to be too into like um, as you're kind of moving through like most of the animals aren't overly focused on the exact quality of the view it's just kind of like anyone um but you do as you're kind of moving into the street you see that there's a woman that's like currently being harassed by just a like i described one of those kind of roving flocks of chickens um that's going after and as you kind of move on to the scene um a lot of them kind of break off and start kind of coming after you i guess i would like all of you to just start off by rolling for initiative here <laughs> Can you help Pooper? He's kind of a... He's a little Pooper now. Um, all right. Um, so yeah, you see this woman, these, um, this like flock of chickens, it's kind of was harassing this woman, but then it kind of breaks off uh, and you hear them. Bah! 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 Uh, some of them, like their claws are already kind of like drenched and dripping with blood in places. Uh, and they all, as you're kind of looking at them, you see this kind of, um, yellow and red kind of swirling glow in their eyes um that seems to be very uh very unnatural um the first to act is you 
paradigm. What would you like to do as these chickens kind of start moving towards you and Joy? Um, I'm going to take my light crossbow and I'm going to try and put one between one of the chicken's eyes. Um, all right, go ahead and attack roll. Um, yeah, that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Four. All right, cool. <laughs> um, you take the light crossbow and pull it back and try and like <laughs> catch one of these chickens. Uh, as you do so, it catches not one, but you actually see it hit one chicken. They're so dense and actually stick through another chicken as two chickens just kind of <laughs> fall out of like the cloud of them that's kind of flying towards you uh, with two kind of <laughs> uh, kind of cries. Um, is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? I'm going to stop advancing with Joy and actually take a few steps back. Okay. Um, yeah, you duck back a little bit, uh, and the chickens kind of uh, swarm forward. They don't seem to really pay too much heed to the crossbow shot. Um, they're in a bit of a frenzy, it seems, um, and they don't really seem, seem to focus on you as they act, and instead on Joy, who is covered in delicious spices. Um, and they are going to make an attack against you. Does a seven hit, Joy? No. Okay, yeah, they're just kind of like pecking and like clawing kind of helplessly at your armor. Just uh, as it uh, passes now to, um, it passes now to your turn, Elena. Oh, uh, yes, it's Elena next. Uh, what would you like to do, Elena? Um, Elena, you there? Uh, boomerang? Oh, sorry. Um, no, no I'm, going, I'm, I'm, I'm going to um, stay back a bit, and I'm going to send out an Eldritch Blast. All right. Uh, go ahead and make me an attack roll with your Eldritch Blast. Wait. If you click on it on the front of your character sheet, um, where it appears under... Um, or it should. Um, I don't see it there. Um, it's probably not set up as an attack. Hold on a second. Let me just do it for you really quick. Um. Uh, we're just going to get that set up. It'll just take a second. And so I just made you a thing for Eldritch Blast on the front of your character sheet. If you just click that, uh, it should do your uh, attack roll correct. All right, eight. Um, your Eldritch Blast uh, flies out and kind of uh, kind of flies just a little bit to the right. Uh, they're kind of moving chaotically, and you're not quite able to connect uh, with that Eldritch Blast, unfortunately. Um, is there anything else you would like to do on your turn? Um, to hold your position? Yeah, I'll, I'll just hold my position. Okay. Um, in that case, that brings us to, I believe it is Joy next. Joy, what would you like yeah. to do? Uh, drumstick slash! <laughs> uh, 12 does hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage on that. Um, yeah, you swing your long sword through the uh, ever kind of like panicking flock of chickens and uh, as you swing it uh, three chickens fall out of the swarm. Uh, it seems like it's a little bit hard to like nail down a whole lot of them at once um, just with these kind of like regular weapons just because of the way they're all kind of like moving chaotically around you but you manage to strike down three with that swing. Um, is there anything else on your turn, Joy? <laughs> uh, uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, this, this storm still looks pretty uh, pretty healthy at the moment. Um, in that case, that's going to burn us to, last but not least, uh, Lil Booper. Lil Booper, what would you like to do? Well, if they're all, like, super grouped up, they're all super grouped up, right? Um, I mean, they're like a, they're just like a, they are a swarm mechanically. So, yeah, they're all in the kind of same space. They're occupying the same space that Joy is in right now, is they're all, like, clawing on and pecking at Joy. Oh, well, then that would change what I was gonna do. Well, then, I guess uh, I'll just, you know, I'll support you from back here, Joy, and I'm going to use <laughs> juggle darts. <laughs> just like Chad taught me. Ah, nice. Um, oh, wait, you're just going to juggle some darts? Yeah, if I could do something new, so could you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, you got it, little pooper. Wait, um, you're a pooper, right? 
little pooper. Uh, right now I'm kind of pooper. Uh, you can also go ahead and just make me an acrobatics check to see your uh, your juggle quality. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, you're juggling five darts! Um, you didn't, you've never even tried that before, but on the first try, uh, you juggle five darts. Enjoy, it's amazing. Uh, you are inspired. You have a, a point of barter conspiration to use at your leisure. As it passes back now to the top of the initiative uh, with Paradigm, what would you like to do? And now, since they are all focused on joy, it seems I'm going to um, kind of slide into the side and attack them with both of my short swords. Um, all right. Uh, go ahead and make me a couple of attack rolls. Um, would I have sneak attack for these attack rolls? Yep, uh, because um, because Joy is within melee, you would have sneak attack. Uh, oh, it only applies once per um, it only applies once per round. Oh, okay. Um, so unfortunately, the eleven misses uh, as you're kind of like up next to Joy, kind of like swinging your short sword. You don't manage to catch one. You catch one like kind of right on the toe, and it. <laughs> It kind of like bucks a little bit, but it doesn't quite seem to do much damage. Uh, but you have an offhand attack as well? Uh, yes. Uh, that definitely does hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage on that. Um, oof. Um, so that's 11 plus an additional uh, additional 7 for the sneak attack, so 18. Um, you watch as... Uh, you all watch as Paradigm kind of like spins the short sword in one hand after the first one and then just kind of uh, stabs up and through uh, the group of chickens uh, and as his short sword comes back out uh, he seems, um, you watch as nine chickens fall out of them or eight chickens, one of them perfectly skewered on the end of the short sword uh, which he then just kind of like tosses down to the side or perhaps not if you don't, if you want to hold on to that one um, but you've taken out an immense number of chickens with the stab um, I'm going to actually take that that chicken and kind of keep it to myself, keep it to the side. That'll, that'll be good for later, I imagine. <laughs> uh, around the, roast around the fire later. Yeah, that's an impressive uh, that's an impressive chicken stab. Um, at this point, Dark Cloud, um, since you're adjacent, uh, they are going to target you as you seem to be the primary. Uh, actually, now they're they're going to go after Joy because Joy's got Joy's got spices. Uh, does an oh. 18 hit Joy? Yes, just barely. Um, you take seven points of piercing damage as the chickens kind of... Ow, ow. Um, they're just pecking at you. They're getting, like, underneath the armor. They're getting you, like, around the wrists ah. where there's, like, the little chinks. It's just, like, ow. these tiny little points of damage all over. That's just... It's very unpleasant, Joy. It is, it is not joyful. Um, and that is going to bring us next to um, Elena. What Wait, would you like to do? Is that, 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 I don't think you read how it works right. Is it? What? Nope, I did it right, for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, Elena. Um... I'm going to cast another Eldritch Blast. Alright, go chickens. for it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um... This Eldritch Blast, um, you see it just kind of... Uh, you, you go to cast it, and as it's kind of like piling up in your hand, you just kind of get distracted for a second, and the spell just kind of fizzles and kind of falls on the ground in front of you. Uh, bad, bad luck. Um, is there anything else on your turn, Elena? Um, I'm going to move so that I'm behind. So I'm standing behind the other... Um, Lil Boober? Yeah. Okay, you duck. Uh, you duck behind this little rabbit, uh, and you're in a, a slightly more defensive position as you take a step back. Um, oh, I didn't even know you could fit back there. From, uh, <laughs> uh, you're already a fair distance away from, uh, from Joy and Paradigm. Uh, as it passes now to Joy's turn, what would you like to do? All right. How about some charbroil chickens? I would say that if I had any sort of way to do that, but instead I'll just cure <laughs> them again. Excellent. Uh, Drip stick kebab! Absolutely hits. And there are uh, four chickens now perfectly, um, perfectly kind of skewered on the end of your sword. Uh, and at this point, the chicken swarm seems to have thinned out uh, pretty significantly. Um, there's a lot less chickens that are actually going at you. Uh, and 
they're starting to get a little bit more on the defensive. Um, anything else on your turn, Joy? <sighs> nope. Um, All right. Good. All right. A little booper then. I'm joking. He starts and whoops! I guess I accidentally dropped one. <laughs> uh, uh, go ahead and roll damage on that uh, accidental dart throw. Um, three. Uh, somehow this accidental dart that you just kind of completely unintentionally uh, throw out from this uh, perfect five juggle, and maybe five was too many. Uh, you <laughs> toss it out, and it kills three chickens. Uh, <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> uh, as the chickens fall to the ground, uh, now slain. Um, that's going to bring us to the top of the initiative up uh, paradigm. The chickens, like, you see them kind of like starting to land as their numbers are thinned out, and they realize that they're just, um, I guess not lambs to the slaughter, I guess they're just chickens to the slaughter right now. Uh, and they're getting ready to kind of like retreat. Um, what would you like to do? Well, if they are chickens to the slaughter, I guess I'm just going to keep slaughtering them. Ex excellent. Go ahead and make me another attack roll. Um, all right, uh, that hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage with the sneak attack. Oof. Another couple chickens uh, that are running away. Um, just the uh, the chicken massacre continues. Uh, you're gonna make another offhand attack? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Oh my god! Uh, well, it's not the sneak attack, but it's still double damage. Go ahead and uh, roll that. Um, all right, another. Oh, oh god, another five chickens with the swing. Um, you've gotten kind of the feel for it now, as you're just massacring these chickens. Your sword just kind of slices through in like kind of these wavy arcs, hitting multiple chickens with each swing. Um, that is. Um, anything else on your turn then? Um, no, I think I'll just stay here. Okay. Yeah, on their turn, the chickens are going to uh, are going to flee what remains of the flock. It's actually uh, it's actually only about five chickens at this point that are flying away. But they provoke opportunity attacks if anyone would like to attack them running away. Chicken, or chicken, if uh, chicken, chicken. Elena, as they fly, you can take another eldritch blast away eventually too. Okay. If you would like to do that, or you can let them. Oh God, no mercy for these poor chickens. Uh, well, they're eating people. That's not exactly a nice thing to do. Uh, Elena, do you want to uh, take an attack as well? Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, Elena, you just can't seem to hit these chickens. They just move so fast and they're so small. Uh, but Paradigm and uh, Paradigm and Joy, the two of you finish off the remaining chickens. Um, but the scene uh the scene around you is not any less kind of calm down as these animals are just kind of moving to and fro um just really just kind of like tearing things up in the area and as you kind of finish off these chickens uh you hear a voice kind of shout out to you hey hey over here over here and there's like a person with a hand like sticking out like reaching a hand out to you and, and beckoning you to enter into his house that he's peeking out from all right let's go that's not suspicious at all Nope, sounds good to me. Let's go. You go ahead. Alina, it's okay. I understand. You don't like hurting small animals. <laughs> Thank I you. like <laughs> you. Know, you know, it's a really admirable trait. Uh, they're just chickens, so I'm used, and my uncle's a chef, so I'm used to dealing with this sort of thing. Don't hurt uh -oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, rabbit is yummy. Uh, the four of you follow this uh, stranger into his abode. Uh, and he kind of, as he enters, he just seems to be kind of like a, a very normal looking uh, human peasant. He has, you know, what appears to be like a blacksmith's garb on. And as he enters into the house, he kind of slams the door shut. Uh, he just goes, Whoops. Ignore that. Ignore that. Um, you blow him up with your thunderclap. Uh, <laughs> he, he speaks to you. The four of you look like you're from Bartholomew's crew, is that right? Yep. We sent for you as a town, did not think it would go through. We sent a pigeon, we thought the pigeon might turn and start eating people, but it did not. Looks like everything worked out great, and that's great. Help, please. Actually, um, I'm pretty sure that Bartholomew only got that pigeon because it tried to eat him, but yeah. Doesn't matter, you're here. Help, please. That's what I said before. I emphasize it again now. Sure. Point us in the right direction. I don't know where that is. Okay, then let's go out and kill some more chickens. I don't I think like that. there's gotta be. 
um, well, we can tell you this much. It, the farmer, Fran, farmer Fran, these are all his things. You haven't seen him around, neither head nor tail, but we've seen head nor tail of the horses that have been tearing down buildings and the cows that have been also tearing down buildings. Why haven't they tearing down this building yet? Um, well, I'm a blacksmith, so there's like metal and stuff on the walls and support peeps. It's a sturdy building. Do you have anything that would help us? Um, swords and spears and uh, shields, if that's something that you need. Although you look like you have better equipment than I make. Um, yes. At this point, you see at the window, you hear like, doof, 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 uh, and you just hear uh, as a cow, you can see is like battering on the building with its hooves and is like kind of almost up on hind legs as it's trying to like tear into the building and it gets bored eventually and gives up. See, solid construction. Well done. So where's the farm? The farm is... Uh, and he kind of like, mm, I don't go there often, usually comes to market. It's... Uh, and... He kind of says, we can go out my basement and then run up and around kind of on the outskirts. Actually, not we, you. And you'll get to the farm and he's got like a big barn uh, and then like a ranch house and fields. But um, I think we can ignore the fields because the plants are fine. They're not eating humans or orcs or whatever. I'm a human, so I'm inclined to say they're eating humans, but they're eating pretty much everything that's not a farm animal. So do you like all of this happening? I imagine it's pretty good for business. No, I don't. But you can read because it's terrible. It's you know terrible, little business? booper. You know what would be very like... bad for business? If I just died. But yeah. this is like the best advertisement you could get. No, what? The only sandy building in the whole town to see. Oh no, there's lots of other buildings that are standing. I just am using this one because it's my home and my shop. Uh, and at this point, you hear um, now there's like multiple animals on the outside of it. You can hear like a <laughs> of like a horse kind of whinny, perfect horse whinny, 10 out of 10. Uh, and also cows that are um, now kind of just <laughs> trying to like break into the house. Just go, go, go down out my basement, run! Don't worry, we'll bring you to you! Everyone! I've always wanted to say that. Find uh, your and... buddy! <laughs> Find a buddy! Um, do you guys find buddies? Sure. I want I want Elena to be my bunny. She she likes small animals. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I guess Joy's my buddy then. Yep. So that, Joy holds that your seems hand very and much runs. With what I saw outside in that fight, goodbye. Uh, and you guys duck down. Um, you guys duck down outside. Uh, do you follow his instructions, or do you um, do anything, uh, or or do you follow like a different tact? Uh, track to try and find their way to this location. Uh, we only have one set of, of, of directions. Well, I don't know if you wanted to like, if you wanted to just ignore this guy. But okay, um, you uh, in that case follow your way out, kind of taking the directions that you gave uh, that he gave you, um, working your way along the outskirts of the forest, and um, eventually you can kind of see the farm in the distance, uh, and you can see there's. Um, you can see there's more animals kind of in this region, um, farm animals, and they are kind of like, um, they're kind of in some places even walking in regular patterns, almost like they're patrolling, like they're not in that like frenzy that you saw them out in the streets of the city. Um, and uh, in the distance, you can see a very large barn um, with a couple of uh, with a couple of cows in front of it that appear to be guarding it. Oh, I know this game. We just wait for them to have their back turn, and then we hop across. Um, so yeah, you guys are in kind of the outskirts of the forest right now. Uh, this barn is in front of you, and, and there's two ga two cows on either side of the door, uh, the big kind of like barn doors. Um, what do uh, what do all of you want to do? All right, let's go. Actually, just wait here, uh, track them, and then we can ambush him. Okay, sure. Why not? Okay, everyone, back up. It's he takes out his triangle takes a bigger than normal rod and goes ding, except it's a super loud ding. Oh, are you going to hit him with a thunderclap? I'm going to hit the triangle with the thunderclap to like okay, so you're, make you're it super that. loud to so come in here. Okay. Um, the two cows, um, as you make this thunderclap, both of them um, kind of, uh, there's this extreme loud ding, 
that like resonates throughout the area. Uh, and the two cows you hear both of them kind of like, moo, uh, and they both kind of start wandering in your, um, they start kind of wandering in your direction. Uh, and you actually hear one of them say, did you hear that? Uh, and the other one goes, I certainly did. Uh, as they're kind of like walking towards uh, where you hit the triangle. Well, we kind of sneak around or get them while they're don't, not looking. I don't really sneak very well. Holding a hand while they're not looking. <laughs> but it's hard. Um, yep, and they're just kind of like wandering closer and closer. I uh, hear one of them go, that was some loud music. Uh, and they get like up kind of near the bushes where the, the group of you are are kind of like ducked down. Um, so they're like already right up on us? Um, yeah, and if you wanted to do something before they got to that point, you can have done that. Um, um, can I just swing but, at them? You're, you just all, are you all just going to like make a surprise round and, um, and, and just like get them all at the same time? As soon as they come in. Yeah. All right. Uh, why don't all of you who are going to uh, jump these cows then uh, do that? All right. Okay. Uh, sneak attack definitely applies here. Um, the javelin does hit. Javelin. Uh, the javelin. I'm sorry. Um, um, how? Close are they? Um, they are. Um, it seems like uh, Paradigm was waiting until they got into melee, um, so he could uh, stab. So they're like pretty close. Uh, if you want to be a little bit tucked farther back in the woods, that's fine though. Um, oh yeah. So you can be. You can definitely be in range to poison spray if you want. Um, so they make a dexterity save against that, right? I believe so. Okay. Uh, and are you doing anything? Um, are you doing anything, little booper? As soon as they get close enough, I'm going to boop them with my feet. Boop them with my feet. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're going to make a deck save, uh, which they... Oh, that's the swarm of chicken, chickens, not the cow. I will just use the same roll, which that means they would fail. Um, <clears throat> so the this cow, uh, as you're getting closer... Um, Joy, can you roll damage on that uh, javelin for me? Sure. Uh, boop. And I need damage on the, the sneak attack uh, short sword too, because it also hits. Um, so uh, as you get closer, um, one of these cows, uh, there's a stab and a javelin and a boop and uh, just a spray of acid. And this cow is absolutely obliterated in one hit. Uh, and the other car, and the other cow just looks over and just goes, Marty! And he just looks aghast and scared. Um, and he's like now just kind of like you see him like just kind of like roll over onto his belly uh, as you destroy this other cow uh, and it's just kind of there just like Whoa! Uh, he seems to have given up the fight <laughs> Joey's gonna come out and rub his belly I'm sorry it was kind of my <laughs> he just goes <laughs> you know what it's okay Mm -hmm. I can bring him back. He is no sleeping yet. Um, Healing word. Oh, oh, yeah, I know. Hold on a sec, though. Because <laughs> um, that is not enough healing. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. or, sorry, not, 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 not enough healing. Uh, as you cast this healing spell on the cow, uh, the cow is, like, fully dead. Uh, you brought him to negative double his hit points. He is... Uh, he is out of commission completely. Well then. Sorry, I tried. <laughs> He's, he is uh, he is sleeping still, it would seem. Um, hey, Moobert. Moobert. She's going to tap the cow on his oh, head. How did you know my name? Lucky guess. What's going on, Moobert? Mm, Morty's dead. Yeah. But what else is going on? Why are you guys eating people? That's not nice, you know. Not nice for you to eat us. 
Well, I guess that's true, but you're so delicious. I'm a vegetarian. You guys are okay. Not that great. I actually like grass better. So why don't you stick Here to you grass? Why? I don't know. Sometimes when I see a person, I just get so mood. Which he seems like he was saying mad in cow. Hmm. You see. Little, little pooper is when, when did this first start? And Joy just put on a pair of glasses with a mustache and <laughs> brought out like a pen and paper. When well, did this first start? Him, little pooper is going to go and he's going to look for a nice, good patch of grass for him. Oh, well then. <laughs> I'm. You do not find a nice passive grass. It seems all of the grass here has already been uh, chewed out by the surrounding cows. Um, so yeah, Joy, you start talking to uh, you start tra- talking to Moody. Um, what about um, what about Paradigm and Elena? What are the two of you up to? Um, I'm going to join Joy in the questioning of the cow, and I'm going to just be writing things down in my uh, little black book. Yeah, okay, uh, Elena. Um, I'm I'm just gonna listen okay um yeah the cow just kind of speaks um, a couple days ago uh, um all of a sudden i was real smart uh and he kind of continues on um and he talks about how um he was all of a sudden kind of convinced with uh that he had this burning passion to uh get vengeance on you know, the humans that have been eating them for so long by this one duck. A duck? Mm-hmm. There, a duck told you to eat people? He was utterly convincing. I see. Where Sounds is this like duck? a quack to me. Yeah. Also, I'm back, and there's no good grass around here. I don't blame you for you. <laughs> Can you do anything? What you're making him sad, Moobert. It's okay. I'll rub your tongue. Uh, Moobert seems very. Uh, Moobert seems very out of it at this point. Uh, you you very, like very music, out. right? Let me play my claves. Um, start hitting his claves together. You play, you play your claves. Uh, you think it's going to take some real time for the wound of the loss of Moody to heal for Moobert, um, but <clears throat> uh, Moobert tells you that the duck lies within the barn ahead. All right. Rest up, Moobert. Let's go, guys. Let's go kill a duck. Um, all right, you kind of step over to the, uh, you step over to the barn door. Uh, Moobert is still uh, moo hooing a bit, uh, and you, um, you eventually reach the barn door. And by eventually, I mean like two seconds. It's just a few feet away. Uh, and um, what do you do? Good joy. <laughs> Yep, it's always going to try and kick open the door. All right, go ahead and make me a strength check. Sure. Just straight strength. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole, there was a whole thing here, but uh, as you kick the door, uh, you hear inside, like, the support beam that was, like, kind of barring the door. You hear the wood on it kind of, like, splinter and <laughs> crack as the door just kind of flies open. Um, and you enter into the chamber, uh, and you can see, uh, in this kind of barn up on the loft above, there is, as promised, a duck, uh, as well as, um, you can see, like, a horse and a pig and another cow, uh, and a goat that are all just kind of, like, listening to this duck speak, uh, and the duck is saying things along the lines of, um, things along the lines of, quack, quack! Quack, 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 quack! Uh, and then you hear, um, uh, you hear the horse kind of speak out and say something like, <sighs> yes, we should take back what we are deserved from the humans. Uh, and they seem to understand these quacks. Uh, and they're all just kind of like listening and, and listening. Some of these, some of these animals are wearing clothes. These seem to be some something along the lines of generals. They're wearing like military bearing, like outfits almost. They have like little, uh, little, like, pauldrons about their shoulders uh, in places. Oh, but they're a proletariat. More or less, yeah. Um, but then you barge in, uh, and the duck at the top just quack, quack, and, and kind of, like, points at you with a wing, uh, and all the animals turn towards you. I'd like you to, um, I'd like you to roll initiative, I guess. 
That was a nice, that was a nice strength check, Joy. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Um, and we'll just let, uh, just have one guy roll for all of them because I don't want to trap up these guys separately. Let the horse roll. Um, excellent. So in that case, the first to act is going to be you, little Booper. Uh, as you move into this scene, um, uh, I'm going to give you all, um, yeah, well, you guys all go first. So, uh, little Booper. Can uh, I try to convince them that I'm one of them because I'm a bunny? <laughs> Uh, go ahead and tell me what you say and make a persuasion check. I'm like, don't worry, guys. Look at who I captured. These are uh, these are ones that you could eat and overthrow the proletariat with. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. I'm gonna throw a few sniffle sounds in there. Um, as you do that, um, they seem. I mean, they're like a little bit caught off guard, at least. Um, they're, they're definitely uh, they're definitely confused as you say this, and they see that you're an animal. Uh, and they all kind of like turn their heads to look at the duck, who kind of makes like a very questioning sort of quack. Uh, next in initiative is Joy. What do you do? <laughs> all right. Well, she's going to crack one of the pack of Crimson Bovine again. Okay. Just chug that down. This fitting scenario. Yep. Uh, you can now fly. Yep. So she's gonna fly up to the duck. Um. Okay. You fly right up next to the duck, who just quack, quack, quack. Uh, and the animals now, uh, as he makes these quacks, uh, they seem to no longer be confused about what they have to do. Little pooper. Um. In that case, um, it's actually thirty feet. You can still make an attack roll if you want. Yeah. Sure. I'll attack right. the duck. Why not? Um, you watch as you kind of uh, swing down on the duck. Um, you, your blade casts through him, uh, and as it does, um, the duck's head just comes clean off within this first strike. Uh, and after that happens, the body kind of shifts and transforms, uh, and you see a man in a farmer's hat uh, sitting before you. Um... He, oh. He's the real threat. I'm the animal. Um. <laughs> Joey's uh, just gonna looks, look at him. You're not and a he, he just, And he just kind of looks at you, just. No, I'm not. Uh, he's got kind of like a straw in his mouth. Uh, and uh, I think that's gonna be all for your turn. <laughs> um, that's going to bring us in that case to. Um, Elena, what do you wish to do? I'm gonna send off an Eldritch Blast at this farmer. Okay, I'll go ahead and make an attack roll. That absolutely hits. Go ahead and roll damage on that. Uh, for two points of damage as the Eldritch Blast flies up. Uh, you see it hits the farmer kind of right on the, uh, right on like the cheek, uh, the little straw that he was chewing is like, like knocked off. And you see the kind of wound hit and he just goes, ah! uh, and kind of like spits on the ground a little bit. Uh, and you just hear him call out, ATTACK! ATTACK, YOU IDIOT ANIMALS! Uh, and, um, that's gonna bring us to Paradigm. That's my girl, don't hurt the animals, only your people. Alright, so I am also going to, um, take a shot at the farmer. Alright, uh, go ahead and make an attack roll. Fifteen also hits, uh, go ahead and roll damage on that. Okay, and um, would sneak attack apply? I didn't tell. Uh, sneak that. attack applies because uh, Joy is within range. So add three. All right. Um, uh, the bolt kind of flies and catches him, uh, kind of like right in the shoulder, uh, and that looks like it actually hurt him pretty good, uh, as he's now kind of like bleeding pretty, bleeding pretty profusely. Bleeding pretty profusely is a little tough to say, uh, and he's kind of like leaning over. Just, ah! Um. Very good. Uh, in that case, it's going to be the animal's turn, uh, as a whole bunch of animals are going to come at the three of you on the ground all at once. Also, Joy, I'd like you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Sure. <laughs> um, you take half of this damage. 
uh, as Farmer Friend's hands kind of light up with arcane magic, and uh, he burning hands, uh, he burning hands as you, uh, you dodge out of the way and take five points of fire damage uh, against you, little booper. Um, there's going to be a uh, the goat goes up and tries to ram you. Does an eleven hit? No, I thought we were friends. Uh, uh, the goat kind of ducks past you, uh, and then a pig also runs up and attempts to ram you. Um, that one hits. That yeah. one hits. Um, that actually is going to hit for additional damage because he did his charge move uh, for another two. So you take nine points of uh, slashing budging damage as he kind of hits you with the little pig tusks that are sticking out. Um, coming after you, uh, coming after you, Paradigm, you hear the horse just kind of that's a perfect horse again uh, whinny and come after you um, which the horse is a little scary does a 10 hit? no a 10 does not hit oh yeah the horse kind of goes up to you and tries to uh, buck into you with its hooves but uh, you manage to agilely dive out of the way uh, and then a cow is coming after you uh, is coming after you Elena I assume a 22 hits yes Oh, it's a lot actually oh god uh, it does extra damage for the charge, and the cow is kind of nasty. Uh, you take 14 points of, of piercing damage uh, as the cow bucks in, or bludgeoning damage this would be actually as the cow hits you. Are you okay? No. I'm, like, dead. Are you, like, dead dead? Yeah. Oh, God. No! Um. Wait, no, you're not dead dead. So you have nine hit points, I see. Yeah. So you're unconscious. Uh, if it reduces you to double your max, then you die. But right now, uh, you're just knocked out on the ground and someone can still like save you with a healing spell or something along those lines. Okay. Um, so at the start of your turn, you'll make a death saving throw if you're still uh, in the process of dying as this cow just runs, just move aside and crashes into you. Um, and you, when you go to negative hit points, you just reset to zero. So right now you're at a flat zero, basically. Um, that's going to bring us to uh, the top of the initiative um, as Farmer Friends uh, burns you, Joy, was the last thing. Uh, that's mm -hmm. going to be Lil Booper. What do you want to do? How close are all of these animals? <laughs> um, all of the animals are kind of like intertwined with the group of you as it's just kind of like a big pile. It would be hard to not like you could hit the two that are fighting you without affecting anyone else. But if you wanted to hit all of them, you'd start to get your allies. Okay, and uh, the farmer looks really beat up. Um, the farmer doesn't look like he's in great shape. Hey, Joy, we're gonna need you down here. Hang on, I'm coming in a minute. I'm gonna whisper to the farmer. I'm gonna be like, you're not natural animal. How dare you try and how dare you try and use these animals. I'm no healing. Uh, so he's going to make an intelligence save? Or a wisdom save? I just always see psychic and I see intelligence. Wisdom. Okay. No, oh, no! Uh, oh god, he takes 16 points of psychic damage. Uh, and you watch as Farmer Fran just kind of starts... And he just starts kind of like screaming and he just runs up. Uh, away from you, Joy, and crashes into the back wall of the barn, and then just falls flat on his back, unconscious. <laughs> uh, as you've taken out, as you've real <laughs> taken out Farmer Fran, um, and as you do so, you watch as the animals. Um, they seem to be like there's like a shift, but they're still a little bit enraged. Um, but it seems like the spell is like ending now because Fran is no longer there, although it doesn't, like, end immediately, it looks like. Um, that is going to be all for your turn, I assume? Or do you have a, oh, you have a bonus action too, you could inspire somebody? Oh, no, even better. Hey, 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 I give you, I give you permission to hit these animals. Just get up. <laughs> all right, yeah, and Elena, you find yourself, <gasps> your lungs kind of filling with air again after this cow just tackled you down onto the ground uh, as you are once again conscious. Uh, as it passes to Joy's turn. Joy, there's a dead farmer. Well, I was gonna push him, but whatever. Uh, Joy's gonna lay on hands for herself because she's actually hurting a bit. Okay. Then she's gonna oh. fly above the uh, the farm animals down below and just kind of watch. 
just kind of, kind of chilling. All right, cool. Um, you lay on hands and then hover. Uh, that's going to bring us to, um, or you have these big giant like white kind of wings because I believe Crimson Bovine does give you wings, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Elena, you had a brush with death, but once again, like the revolving door that is D&D, you stand back up. Um, fine, this cow still bearing down on you angrily. What would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna spray it with poison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, cow is gonna make a dexterity saving throw. Um, who would have thought that cows... Uh, who would have thought that the cow is not great at dodging? <laughs> uh, as it's covered in this kind of thick, this is acid. Uh, as you hear the cow just kind of, uh, and it kind of uh, falls over slain as you've defeated the cow. Uh, is there anything else on your turn? Um, how close am I to the other animals? Um, you are like you're pretty close. You wouldn't provoke opportunity attacks if you moved away, um, but you're within like 10 feet of basically all of them as you're all kind of cramped by the barn entrance at the moment. I'm gonna move away. All right, like... you're gonna move like out of the barn? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, in that case, uh, that's going to bring us to, uh, that's gonna bring us to Paradigm. What would you like to do? All right, so there's a horse in front of me, yes? Yeah, there's a horse. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do my best glue factory impression and try to kill the horse. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> um, that definitely hits the horse. Um, cool. Uh, you make an offhand attack, too? Yes. All right, go for it. Uh, and roll damage on that. Oof, 12 damage. Um, you kind of stab into the horse on both sides, uh, and there's two very exaggerated kind of pained whinnies uh, as the horse takes the hit, uh, but it's still angry. It looks like it's made of tougher stuff than the average cow. Uh, anything else on your turn? I'm going to look surprised as I didn't kill it and then nervously laugh at the cow. I mean, horse. <laughs> yeah, the horse uh, is not is not nervously whinnying at you. Uh, it seems like after he told him, after he made that last uh, buck when uh, Joy was uh, when Joy was grabbing him, these animals kind of went into that same kind of frenzy uh, as the horse is going to uh, hoove you on his turn. I assume an eighteen hits. Yes. Uh, you take eighteen points of. I'm sorry, not eighteen. You take eight points of bludgeoning damage um, as the horse comes after you. Um, the goat uh, is going to keep trying to get you, little Vooper. What is a 10 hit? No. Nope. Nope. Hop the, over him. And the pig. Uh, and I hop over him too. And you hop over the pig. Uh, and the cow is slain. Um, so that is all for the foe's turn. Are you still up after that attack uh, from the horse? Yes. Uh, her, like... <laughs> all right. Um, that is going to bring us to... Um, that's gonna bring us top of the initiative. That's gonna be Joy. It was yes, it was Joy. Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, no, it was a little pooper. It was a little pooper. Yep. Yeah. In the but, middle uh, of the year, he's gonna take out his rapier and say, "This one's for you, Joy." Hurricane slash. <laughs> Hurricane slash. Uh, go please, ahead and roll please damage don't hurt on me. your. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll damage. Are you attacking the goat or the pig? Oh God. <laughs> the piggy. He hit me. <laughs> um. Please don't hurt me, Joy. Um, you hit the pig, uh, and as you do, uh, you stab in the pig, and the pig's just still barely up. Uh, as you hit it, the pig looks, um, it looks kind of like weirdly tough, um, this, uh, this farm pig. As you stab into it, um, it's just on the brink. Uh, anything else on your turn? I'm going to say, wait, is this, is this, yeah, I'm gonna go. You, Alina, don't miss anymore. I'm gonna take out my tambourine and go, hit the thing, hit the thing. Also save me. <laughs> okay. Wait, who are you doing that to? Hmm? Huh? Alina. you giving that inspiration to? Okay, Alina, cool. Yeah. Uh, just a reminder that you still have inspiration, Troy. It has not been, yeah. uh, I'll say it has not been 10 minutes. Um, in that case, it's going to be Joy. It is now your turn. All right, I'm gonna go down and slash the pig. All right. Pig bomb, and I'll use my, uh, uh no, I don't, I'm not gonna that use anything. Hits. 
That's fine. Um, you slash the pig, uh, and it Hurricane. falls. But then you see a burning light of energy in the pig's eyes as its relentless feature, uh, and it was reduced to one hit point instead of zero as the pig is unshakable. Ah, brother. Um, but the pig is is now on the brink of death uh, for, for realsies. Um, in that case, it's going to be Elena. What would you like to do? I'm gonna send an Eldritch Blast pig. All right, go ahead and make an attack roll. I'm gonna use the... The, the inspiration? The spy. Yeah. So, what uh, are so I go ahead and roll? Uh, type slash roll uh, d space d6 in the chat. Uh, and you add whatever you roll to the result. And that certainly is enough. Go ahead and roll damage on your Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Although it didn't matter what damage you did, because the pig had one health left. Uh, and you kill the pig uh, as I the Eldritch Blast you flies out. Do it. Uh, and the pig just kind of uh, just kind of oints to death. Uh, and up next is uh, up next is Paradigm. What do you want to do? I am going to pray that I kill this horse. Uh, go ahead and bring me a couple of attack rolls. Best of luck. Oh, man! Um, and uh, off 10 uh, and offhand. Uh, and another, the 14 hits, go ahead and roll damage on that as well. Oh my god. So 16 damage, Jesus, as you uh, swing into this horse with your flurry of short, sw short sword swings, uh, the horse <laughs> uh, collapses over and falls to its side. All that remains is a lone goat, who on the goat's turn, the goat actually um, seems to come out of uh, come out of whatever strange chance. He watches like the red light and the yellow light in his eyes fades. Uh, and you hear the goat just kind of go, bah, bah, and just start kind of like walking around aimlessly like a normal animal in the barn. We have a uh, new lucker, Pete. <laughs> yeah, you've gotten a lot of crits tonight. Uh, uh, you've gotten a lot of crits tonight, Thermocular. Um, so, yes, all the um, all the animals have been defeated, and Farmer Friend is thoroughly uh, his psyche was shattered uh, by that um, by that dissonant whisper. Um, so you have uh, won the day. Uh, eventually, kind of like the various town folks kind of come together and start um, dealing with all the animals, corralling them back in. I imagine you help out with that effort. Um, but uh, eventually, kind of the uh, uh, that same man that you're talking before, that blacksmith comes up to you. Hey, everyone, you did a great job there. Are you filled with joy now? Yes, and money because now people need repairs on so many things. This was great for business, you're right. I told you. Um, and uh, with that, um, the town eventually pays each of you 100 Bartholomew bucks, as is your standard recompense uh, for a story tier adventurer. Uh, each of you earns one point of experience, uh, which means that if you were level one, you are now level two. Uh, and with that, you have succeeded in this adventure, the meeting place. Uh, and uh, congratulations, all of you heroes, on completing this adventure. Yeah. I made a bunch of friends with the animals. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, Joy, do you like my moves? <laughs> I mean, you're okay. How about my patented <laughs> hurricane? 